A man is gunned down inside a home in West Louisville, and now the search is underway for his killer. Shooting happened in the 1000 block of Cecil Avenue. That's in the Chickasaw neighborhood. Our Carolyn Callahan is live there at the scene where she talked to the victim's family and some friends there. Carolyn, what can you tell us? Well, Karen and Colin, this is something that no family and friends should ever have to go through. Family and friends are here at the home behind me. They walked through the home and then they boarded up the doorway so that nobody else could get in. There are five bullet holes on the outside of the home and family and friends tell us that the victim was asleep when someone shot through the home striking and killing the victim. We are told that that victim is a man in his 30s and that he's from Ethiopia. His friends and family tell us that he lives in this in this house and works in the liquor store behind the house. We're also told that he has a wife and an eight month old child back in Ethiopia. That child, they say this man never even had the chance to see. He came to America looking for a better life. Friends and family tell us he was making money at the liquor store and sending that money to Ethiopia to help out his family. Now it was around three o'clock this morning when police were called here for reports of the shooting. They found the man dead inside of the home. Neighbors here tell us they're frustrated. They say there was another shooting right in the same area yesterday evening where someone they say was shot in the leg and then this at three o'clock in the morning. They tell us they want something to be done. They're sick of seeing police on the street and having their neighbors be shot and killed. Family and friends are here at the home behind us. We are told that the victim's mom and dad are still in Ethiopia and that they have not been able to get in touch with them yet. Right now, Louisville Metro Police not giving out much more information, but no one has been arrested in connection with this shooting. Reporting live, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News.